Hello, this is Jörg Kobrup from EMD. I'm going to show how to use trace lines in WinPro photomontages. Trace lines is used to calibrate the camera model using information from other cameras. In case your photo has no good control points, then it's very hard to calibrate. But perhaps you have some other well calibrated photos that are overlapping your photo. These may be taken from the same or from another position. If you have that, then you can use trace lines to calibrate your camera model using these other photos. Here we have the situation in WinPro. I have this photo montage open here and it's not calibrated. I have no idea uh, what the direction uh, should be. Now I'm holding the control key down and dragging it. And I'm trying to use the horizon line to calibrate the photo, but it's, uh, it's not good enough. So I need some more information but I don't have anything. So luckily I took uh, another photo from the same camera position. This is the one open here. I got one taken in, a, uh, in another direction here where I captured these existing VTGs. So here I have something to, to use when I calibrate the photo. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's, uh, it's calibrated correctly. And I have the focal length. Uh, and I can directly use that in the other one because uh, I use the same uh, settings uh, taking these two pictures. So now I've got the, the focal length correct, but it's still do uh, I don't have the, the direction correct. But uh, on these two photos, there is a small part that is overlapping. This group of trees over here is also on the other one. So now I can, on this one, I can add a trace line, which is actually just a, a 3D line going straight out from the camera, from this camera, and into anything I can see on the picture. So I press this button to open the trace line window. And I press this button here to add a trace line. And I'm going to call it tree. And then I'm going to click here on the spot on the uh, on the image and it's black I don't like that I'm going to change the color to something that's more easy to see so now I have uh, created a line going out from the camera in and straight through that tree and I'm, I can click here and then you can see the line down on the map in 2d and we should be able to see that it's going through this group of trees right down here and now I can go to the other photo and here you can see the tree where I want the trace line to be going through if I open here the trace line window you can see that the trace line tree is here and one camera is uh, pointing at it and I can say I want to show this line on this photo montage also then I cannot see it. I'm going to hold the control key down and drag. And there it is. You can see it's not a line. And that is because it's uh, taken from exactly the same uh, uh, position. The, these two cameras here are in the same position. So the the line is going also straight out from, from this camera I'm, I'm seeing here. So in case the cameras are taken from the same position, it, it's going to show up as a as a point instead of a line. But if I hold down the control key and drag it to the, to the tree here, uh, I'm closing this trace line window. So I believe that now I have the direction of this camera set correctly. Of course, there might be something about rotation and stuff, but I, I think it's okay. You can see it's capturing the the shape of the horizon pretty nicely. I think it's it seems realistic that the direction should be like this. So this is a simple example of how to use trace lines. So now I show another example. Again, I have the same photo montage here. And uh, the problem is to find the direction of the camera. So. And in this case, I don't have another photo taken from exactly the same point. But I have two other photos taken from 
uh, different locations but uh, those two are both uh, well calibrated and they uh, are overlapping this uh, view here and on both of them I can see this treetop here so now I want to create a trace line and define it, uh, define it in both these other uh, camera objects here so I'm going to click on this one I can see uh, the camera objects uh, in the photo I have this one down here and the other one up here and if I start with this one you can see that it's taken from a position with good control points and here we have the tree so now again I add this button I click this button and I call this one tree 2 and I click in here and I'm taking the other photo up here And this also have the tree in the view and I studied carefully and I'm pretty sure that this is the tree and here we see the trace line tr tree 2 and if I click here I can see the trace line we just defined on the other photo coming in here uh, from the right and going straight through this tr tree top and I want to add this camera to this trace line. I'm doing it like this, add to this, and then I'm pointing out from this camera where uh, tree two is. So now we have defined uh, this uh, trace line point here, tree two, from two different cameras. So now again, if I go down to this first uh, photo montage here, I can open the tr uh, tr trace line to tree 2 and I can check that I want to see them on on this one and we can see that the one coming in here and the other one is coming up from behind and uh, the circle is marking where the two trace lines is closest to each other so if I can hold down the control key and drag I can move it down to the tree and as, it, as you can see on the horizon line, it is, uh, it's realistic that it should be here. It might be uh, a little displacement uh, and uh, you can calibrate uh, more on it, but it, it is uh, quite a good tool for calibrating the camera object in case there is no good control points. And also it can be used to validate photo montages where more photos is overlapping. So um, try it out. That's all I had about trace lines, so thank you for watching.